So the two mile six Betfair handicap chase is the first race of day three. Number one, Penny Brave, Craig Beckwith, Market Tavern, Wonderful Racing, Rainbow Italia, Martin Leader, James Bond, David Hooley, Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, looking for a three timer, Nashville Ridley for Vinnie Gerard, Womble for Kevin Meanhan, Glory B Drama for Davy Ladd, David Hooley's Magic Girl, and Thomas Rogers, Jovial Apparent, make up ten. So I'm going to pick up the Betfair. Oh, wait, I'm racing. Straight into the first. We'll negotiate that well. Let's wait for him to settle down now. I have 18 fences to take. I've got 17 left as I go th through the first couple of furlongs. They're going to be led by Penny Bray. Craig back with Seltz, the navy blue, white sleeves, white caps. Got a 5 6 length advantage from the chasing pack, which has just been led by Jovial Apparent. So sort of mid course as they come to the third, the leaders over it. This is the remainder, and just at the rear is Glory B Drama and Nashville Ridley. One tie up against the fence here, number seven. There's one ball for Kevin Meanham. Just on the outside of that is James Bond. Wider still is the lucky trainer, Rainbow Italia's horse. Lucky horse trainer, Rainbow Italia, for winning the Grand National yesterday. If you've ever heard sour grapes, boy have I got them. As they approach the fifth. Get over there successfully. So it's Penny Bray by about seven or eight now. It's Womble up against the fence. And look, James Bond on his outside. Why does do is the green silks of Jovial Apparent. That's Tom Rogers' horse. And wider of all those as they go around the bend, they're losing a couple of links. It's Magic Girl also for David Hood. The widest of all inside of that is Alex Cherry's Maximum Mayhem looking for a hat trick of wins. And we've got Graham Clutterbuck's horse there, sort of mid pack. Market Tavern. Side of that is Davy Lance, Glory B Drama. Second Tom Rogers' horse is Nashville Ridley. I might be confused, that might be Vinnie Gerard, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, Thomas Rogers. But we're still being led by this Penny Bray. We approach the next, which is the eighth. Penny Bray just taking a hold, sizing up to it, jumps it well. This is the rest of the pack. So it's Penny Bray. James Bond and Womble have just pulled away from the main pack down there, followed through by Rainbow Italia and I think that's Joe Bell Apparent. And there's a wall a line of five horses as they come to the ninth. Not jump that well, the one that uh, pecked a little bit on landing was Maximum Mayhem. As we come past the grandstand. The wind goes flashing by go out for another circuit and we're still being led by Penny Bray. James Bond's off in second on his own now, third is Womble, then got Rainbow Italia and Jovial Apparent. The rest of the horses have kept uh, quite together, bar poor old Magic Girl that's gone six wide throughout. But it's Penny Bray that's going to lead us to the next from James Bond, Womble, Rainbow Italia. And stream over the tenth. We've Mistake there by Glory B Drama. Shuffles just to the rear at the moment. This is Penny Bray for Craig Beckwith. It's led since the beginning. Coming down to the far. Oh, we've lost one. And it's Jovial Apparent's gone for Tom Rogers. Unlucky there. A mistake and a fall over. Only one down. And a mile left to go. And it's Penny Bray from a length and a half to James Bond. And about a four back to one more Rainbow Italia and Market Tavern together. Mistake there by Rainbow Italia. Left one ball on his own in third. Moving still well out wide is Magic Girl. She'll try and get closer to the route as we come around this start of the top bend, but it's Penny Bray that still leads just by length and a half now to James Bond. All went through the top of that, lost his momentum, and James Bond just slides by. Penny Bray giving a couple of reminders as we go over the ditch. 40 on, we've lost another one there this time, it's Nashville Ridley. I think that's it. Vinnie Gerard, I apologise if I've got these silks wrong. But it's Penny Bray and James Bond that we should be concerned about. As they pass the five furlong pole, these two are neck and neck as they swing left handed. Coming to the home straight and line up for the judges. James Bond and Penny Bray from Rainbow and Tavern has moved into third. Womble's still there making a move now as Market Tavern, although a little bit slow over that. Magic Girl's got a little bit to do, running on really wide and towards the rear is Maximum AM. 
can't see glory be drama, but it's James Bond that's taken it up inside the three furlongs as a go. The three from Alan, we lost one there, Rainbow Italia's gone for Martin Needham, unlucky, but it's James Bond that stretches his lead now by three, four lengths from a slowing Penny Bray. Market Tavern trying to run on Womble, doesn't look like he's got a lot left as we come down to the final quarter mile to go over the penultimate lead, jumps it well, Penny Bray coming back into it. And this James Bond's got a six, seven length advantage here as we come down to a furlong and a half from home with one to jump. He's only really got to get over this, but it's James Bond from Penny Bray, Womble and Market Tavern. So it's going to be between these. He gets over it and he's going to take this well. 007 takes race 27. James Bond picks up the bet fair. Good running on Market Tavern into second. Third to Womble, fourth is a long time leader, Penny Bray. Fifth to Magic Girl. Good win there for David Hurley. Well done. Thanks to Betfair Handicap. Chase. We've got the hurdle to follow up. So the 6 to 1 winner, James Bond. Graham Clutterbuck's Market Tavern was second. One Wolf Kevin Meanhan got up for third. Penny Brave Craig Beck was fourth. And Magic Girl for David Hurley also came in fifth.